In the continuing debate over heightened taxation, Naivasha residents are accusing the Kenya Kwanzaa government of promising heaven during the campaign period, but delivering hell less than a year in office. The residents tell of their regret for electing the current government, adding that life is becoming unbearable. With the cost of living rising by the day, Kenyans are faced by an acute shortage of basic commodities. Naivasha residents representing millions more unable to do it anymore. <laughs> Na sasa sisi hatuwezi hata hiyo koti tunashidwa tunalilia serikali kwa vile mambo iko juu zaidi iangalie mambo ya mwananchi wa kawaida kwa maana tulichagua serikali yetu na kupenda kubwa na saa hii tumefinywa na tumeishi tuliambiwa maisha itarudi chini saa hii kama saa hii hapa niko nina nataka kuelekea Nairobi Tulikuwa tunaenda na Arobi na miambili. Sasa ni 300. This came as matatu operators in the Lakeside town promising to increase fare to all destinations following a rise in the cost of fuel. For the last couple of months, the cost of basic items has been rising, adversely affecting millions as parts of the country grapple with drought. The situation has been worsened by the proposed finance bill 2023 seeking to increase several taxes including fuel. A decision that has fueled panic and anxiety among Kenyans. The finance bill has the full backing of President Ruto, who told journalists it is the best thing, even as Kenyans cry foul. <laughs> Sai hata kuenda kuchukua mtumba inanishinda. Kwa sababu nashindwa nitalipa 300 ya fare, alafu nirudi niende nichukue mtumba nikirudi chukua nirudi nilipie. Now most people are calling for the reintroduction of the subsidy program that had been put in place by now besieged retired president Uhuru Kenyatta saying that this could be the only way to rescue millions of Kenyans undergoing untold suffering as prices of things like sugar having crossed a lifetime high of over 400 Kenya shillings. Tungeoba rais wetu afanye kama uhuru alipokuwa anafanya juu wakati wa uhuru tulikuwa tunaona mafuta inapanda serikali inalipia kila mtu shilingi 20 kwa kila lita. Mafuta ya chakula vile vile, shule vile vile. Saa hizi ni kama ngombe imekamuliwa na mikono imeisha mafuta imekamuliwa na price ime, ime, imeisha mafuta sasa inafungwa na faisi ile kitu ya kushikaniza chuma hii ngombe na ngombe ni wanjiko ameisha na ameisha kabisa Brian Obuya NT